Our Leah Doherty joins us now from live outside the Womble facility. Leah, it's been a rough day for Texas Tech fans. What are some of the reactions you've seen? Yeah, Ryan, the news of Chris Beard's departure devastating the Red Raider community today. Now one of the few things left from his time at Tech is this mural behind me at the Womble Basketball Center, a state of the art facility that Kirby Hocutt said Beard was involved in creating from the start. Now the images of trophies and Beard hoisting up the net, just rubbing salt in the wound for these fans and former players, many of which gave their reaction to the news this morning on Twitter, most notably Patrick Mahomes saying, y'all can't let us have anything nice. Oh, lineman Jack Anderson saying Chris Beard just ruined my day before 11 a.m. And then former basketball players who were on that 2019 national title run, Matt Mooney saying he's sad to see Beard go. Andrew Sorrell saying it's a tough pill to swallow. Norrence Odiase saying our identity was never in a person or program. Our identity was who we've always been in Lubbock. I've never been the Texas guy, so that's definitely going to be, I'm just going to kind of look at it as him being my college coach at Tech rather than him being head coach at Texas. So it is what it is, and I'll support him either way. And my initial reaction is just overwhelmed with frustration. And that won't just be my initial reaction. That'll be my reaction forever. It just doesn't make sense. Texas Tech's always had a chip on its shoulder, and I think that chip just got a lot bigger. And I'll always love and respect Coach Beard. I really will. This decision doesn't change that. This decision doesn't undermine everything he did for Texas Tech. He gave his heart and soul for the program for the last five years. And I greatly appreciate everything he did for us. Now the question becomes who will become the next head coach. Kirby Hocutt saying in his press conference earlier today that they've assembled a four-person search committee made up of himself, President Skuvenek, Dusty Womble, and Tony Batie. And a few of the names that have been tossed around so far for that head coaching position, Mark Adams, Beard's assistant coach, Darvin Ham, the assistant with the Bucks, Joe Golding, the Abilene Christian coach, and Grant McCaslin, the current coach at North Texas. Of course, we'll talk more about these men tonight at 10, but for now I'm going to go ahead and send it back to you in studio, Ryan.